M0 FXB Hamtech. Pi Star running M17. It does have the latest firmware on the MMDVM dual hat here. You can see the dashboard's working there. And we're selected at the bottom to M17, M17 at the moment. Now remember, when you do update these hats, you know, the hat is the top part of your, of your hotspot look. When you update them, you do need to make sure you run the right command for your... Here I've got a 14 megahertz hat. There is 12. You definitely need to get it right. Uh, but it is working and the hotspot is transmitting, although I haven't got a, a proper receiver for M17 here. Well, I have got a board that I made. I could wire that up, actually, um, the, uh, the um, call the... Uh, I made this one and I plugged it into my FTM 500, thanks to the M17 team. And uh, it, it did work on receiver. I couldn't get it going on TX, but I sort of gave up. But... Um, yeah, it was receiving. When when the hotspot transmits, this receives the M17. So I'll do a, a separate video. Before you update your hat, you do have to update your, your configuration here. You do need to update. Otherwise, the, you know, the firmware that's needed, look at the numbers there, ending 127 and 4.18. The firmware needed uh, won't be on the system if you don't update. But once you've done that, then you put the command in, you just go to configuration, expert and SSH, log in, put the correct command in and it will update your hat. And the, you know, there are different commands for different hats on different hotspots. So I won't show that in this video, but I just want you to see that M17 is running on Pi Star. That if I, you watch now, if I TX here, M0 FXB test, 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 M0 FXB test. You can see that the hotspot goes to the D for, I'm pretty sure that could be Droid Star. And it went into TX and even my hotspot here, look here, my TX in, M0 FXB, sorry, test again, M0 FXB. You can see that the hotspot is going into TX. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73.